So we have arrived to Spain. We're in Malaga. Just uh, getting on the train to go to the city center. The familiar Renfe train is here. Welcome to Malaga. Located just 80 miles north of Africa, Malaga is the southernmost large city in Europe. Malaga is one of the world's oldest cities. When the city was founded by the Phoenicians in 770 BC, it was known as Malacca. In Greek, the word Malacca commonly means asshole or jerk or dude or mate, depending on the context. It derives from the Greek word malakos, which means soft or spoiled, as in well used to luxuries of life. The latter can be certainly said about the Malagueños, who enjoy an average of 300 days of sunshine and 50 days of rain each year. Thanks in part to the Malaga mountains blocking cold weather from the north, Malaga has the warmest winters of all the European cities with a population of half a million or more. The average temperature between December and February is 63 Fahrenheit or 17 Celsius. From the 6th century BC, Malaga was ruled by ancient Carthage, an ancient city on the coast of North Africa, near present-day Tunis. The port of Malaga, one of the busiest seaports on the Mediterranean, has operated continuously since at least 600 BC. The Roman Republic took control of the city in 218 BC. Malacca, as it was called in Latin, later became a part of the Roman Empire. After the fall of the Roman Empire, the city was under Islamic rule and known as Malacca for 800 years. Malaga was finally conquered by Christian forces in August of 1487 during the Reconquista. Artist Pablo Picasso was born in Malaga. Casa Natal, Picasso's birthplace, is open to the public. Actor Antonio Banderas, known for his roles in Desperado and The Mask of Toro, was born in Malaga and is still loyal to his hometown. Next, Granada. Granada was a Muslim kingdom for almost 781 years, which is the longest culture to rule in Spain. It was the last stronghold of Muslim Spain, which fell to the Catholic monarchs in 1492. City symbol is the pomegranate, which is logical considering that Granada in Spanish means pomegranate. You will find stencil graffiti of the fruit all over the city's walls. Granada is one of the rare cities in Spain where you get free tapas with your beverage, wine, beer or soda. Yes, just order a beer or wine and get a free snack. It's true, I've tried it. Mysterious hidden walled gardens are Granada's enchanting Carmen's. A Carmen is a small castle, an estate full of flowers and fruits. There are more than a hundred Carmen's in Granada. The word Carmen comes from the Arab word Carm, meaning vine. Previously full of Arab bathhouses, only one remaining one was not destroyed by the Christians who thought that the Arabs' love of bathing was a sign of effeminacy and decadence. Granada has a hot Mediterranean climate and boasts 250 days of sunlight. In Granada you will find a gypsy population that settled here around 600 years ago and played an important role in creating the Andalusian musical art form and dance style called flamenco. Around 3 million tourists from all around the world visit Granada every year. The nearby mountain range, Sierra Nevada, has the highest point of continental Spain, Mul Athen, at 3,478 meters or 11,000 feet. And finally, Madrid. Bienvenidos a Madrid. Madrid is the third biggest city in the European Union, with about 3.2 million inhabitants right after London, home to around 8.5 million people and the 3.6 million of Berlin. Madrid is not only the name of the world famous capital, but also one of the 17 autonomous communities of Spain. For over 1,100 years, the mountains of the Castilian Central Plateau were only sparsely populated until Mohammed I, the ruler of the Arabic reign of Cordoba, 
decided to build a small castle in the region in the late 9th century. This is when Madrid was officially founded. The King of Spain does not actually reside in the royal palace in Madrid. Even though the Palacio Real is still the official royal residence, these days it's mainly a tourist attraction. Madrileños are oftentimes called gatos, meaning cats, because of a historical legend. A skillful soldier climbed the outer walls with the agility of a cat, after which his family was given the name Gatos. The name Madrid comes from the Arabic Magerit, which means place of abundant water. However, unlike Barcelona, Valencia and Malaga, Madrid is 300 kilometers away from the sea, so no beach to enjoy in Madrid. Madrid has an inland Mediterranean climate and enjoys more cloudless days than almost any other city in Europe. I am working out of H. Diaz Villa de la Reina. It's a hotel or lobby. Very posh, really, very luxurious. But here I am doing the, the work thing with café, con leche y postres. So here I am, my last day in Madrid before I take off for Asia. And uh, what can I say? The summer doesn't quite stop in this part of Europe all the way until uh, late October at least, possibly um, November. So it's a nice day here in the park. El Retiro, uh, kind of like Central Park in um, New York City and yeah the people are out everything is uh, in motion here it really feels like middle of the summer and elsewhere but here it's just uh, Indian summer so to speak uh, still in full force um, yeah but I'm ready to go I think that's been it's been a good stay here and um, on to the next adventure.